Yo guys what is up Jonas here and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can boost the download speed on your PS4. Now this video uses the DNS method which is the most effective and uh, straightforward method out there and I will keep this video as short and useful as possible. So we're gonna start right off by going into the network settings of our PS4. For those of you who do not know, DNS stands for Domain Name System, which is like a sort of networks that your PlayStation will connect to and then those domain systems will give you different speeds uh, that will be used to download your games and updates on your system. So starting off with an internet speed test will give us an approximate speed connect for download and upload on our system. And one thing I would highly recommend you to do is to test the internet connection while using your LAN cable because LAN cable gives you a more direct connection and will usually give you better results than having your PlayStation connected via Wi-Fi because sometimes the signal strengths might not be as good. The router sending the signal might not be this, this good as well. So this will cause uh, you to have lower speeds than you could actually potentially have. Now another thing, when you view your connection status, you're gonna note down your default gateway and then you can see the DNS that are currently used. So once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and set up internet connection. I usually use LAN cable. Here select custom IP address could be automatic for this time. DHCP do not specify and DNS settings manual. Now the DNS list that you have right here is basically showing you some of the most uh, like uh, famous and most used DNS providers and you have gonna have to link in the, you're gonna have a link in the description that you can check out on this link as well you're gonna go ahead and download a software called name bench where you put the DNS codes like 8.8.8.8.8.4.4.4.4 and all the other codes in the name servers tab and this software available for both Windows and Apple will uh, allow you to test the bench uh, speeds like the benchmarks and then you will be able to find out which uh, DNS or domain name system suits best for your connection. So when you enter the addresses, it's going to test it and then it's going to give you a table with results showing you the best DNS that you can use. So I highly recommend you to use that software. Link will be in the description. So once you do that, we're gonna go ahead and show you a few examples like Cloudflare DNS, OpenDNS and Google DNS secondary server. Those were the ones that were the best on my name bench test. So for example, I'm going I'm gonna go ahead and enter Cloudflare primary DNS, which is 1.1.1.1. Pretty simple for primary DNS and 1.1.0.0.1.0.0.1 for the secondary DNS. Once you do that, you have entered the second DNS code, MTU will be automatic and proxy servers do not use. Right there, you're gonna go ahead and test your internet speed again to find out the new uh, test and download speed that you have gotten. But there's one thing, if this somehow did not improve your internet connection, you can go ahead and try other DNS. Now, use if you, did, if you use Namebench, it's going to give you the top DNS servers that you go, you're going to try. But if you did not use it and you do not want to download Namebench, for example, you can try other DNS servers for yourself and see which one suits you best. And it's going to be different for each and every person. Now, one last tip I would give you guys is that the, that the speed of the internet that you can potentially have could be improved using those methods. For example, right here, using Google's DNS, which were 8.8.8.8 for primary and 8.8.4.4 suits me better than using the Cloudflare's DNS. And also keep in mind that these results may vary from different times in the day and from different addresses. So uh, not everyone is going to have the same DNS as their best one. And this, as I was saying, will help you improve your speed if your internet has the potential to be this fast. If the internet is bad already at your home and, there's, and this is the limit that it can get, changing the DNS 
will not increase it drastically like give you huge different results but if there's room for improvement this method will improve your download speeds and upload speed as well as shown so if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace